Hi, Amy with Fashion Toppings here with this week's vlog. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit each day. Some of you kind of liked it when it was broken up a little bit. Um, and today I forgot my tripod, so I actually, <laughs> I have the camera stacked on my purse on top of, and then angled using a couple of my YMCA cards. <laughs> and then my Ipsy envelope is like um, a sun visor over the camera screen. <laughs> I can't move it. If I move it, this whole, it's gonna be like Jenga. It's all gonna <laughs> just fall. And if anybody drives by, they're gonna probably think I'm playing some game in here. So, um, but my Ipsy showed up. But, um, so yeah, Beauty Blast is this month's um, theme. And I suppose the blast, you know, outer space, galaxy, that's the bag. And the bag's cute. I'm indifferent about it. It is cute, it's different, and I do like these for the gym because this is the vinyl -y material that um, I actually take these to the shower in the gym when I work out. And I'll have like my shampoo and uh, hair products in one, and then the other ones I'll have like the razors and the, uh, you know, that kind of stuff in the other. And they're nice because they're vinyl. So I just take them in the shower with me. <laughs> okay, so this month I have cool, cute little bottle. Cool Way Stronghold Spray. Not much of a smell, but it is just a pump, which is nice also for the gym. Okay. And um, I love getting eyeliners. This one is Absolute New York Nano Liner. Nano Liner, so let's see. The color is black, perfect. Black, brown, or plum are the ones I really like getting. Okay, so let's see, kind of. Oh, I like these kind. They're like, um, like a felt tip marker. Yeah, you're, I'm gonna have to be pretty, pretty straight because it is very thin and fine, and it kind of shows. It even shows, like, if you stutter a little bit. So I'm gonna have to be very smooth and precise with my lines, but it feels good. I'm gonna let it dry for a second and I'll give it its rub test. But the um, the brand is Nano Liner by Absolute New York. Never heard of this company. Okay, and it's in black. Let's give it the smudge test. Okay. Look at that. I'm rubbing pretty hard. That is nice, look at that. Not even a smudge. Sweet, ultra fine precision liquid liner. And it doesn't say it's waterproof or anything, but I mean, look at that. I'm pressing pretty hard and it is not even smudging. Rubbed off a little bit, but not smudging. I like that. I've never heard of this brand before. It's fingernail polish. Derm, Dermalect. Peptide infused nail lacquer. I have never heard of that but I love the color. I love nudes. Oh my God, look at how embarrassing. I had my nails done before Halloween and I haven't had them done since. <laughs> they look like shit, sorry. So I guess I'll, I'll get some use out of this. But the color is a nice nude, a tan. I love nudes. I don't love being nude, but I love nude colors. Um, the color is nowhere on it. Oh, Commando. <laughs> I was pretty close when I said nude, it's Commando. Yep, so we'll see how that goes on. I'm excited to try that. I've never heard of this company before. Like I said, Dermalect Peptide Infused Nail Lacquer in the color Commando. And I see it as a nude. Okay, so I've gotten the hairspray, the eyeliner, the nail polish. This is a great bag this month. Next, Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And right now I'm using the um, Urban Decay They're Real. Um, and then I've underneath it, um, I have the Benefit sub, submer, uh, sub, Subversion Primer, I think is what it's called. Oh, a nice big thick brush. Look at that brush. I love the brush on it. It's nice and smooth. So I'll give that one a try. I already have a lot of mascara on now, so I can't put it over it. And then um, the last thing is a Tristique. Tristique, and that must be the company too. In the color Florence Fig, and it's a lip crayon. Right now I have 
my bittersweet that matches my hair. And this is a roll up crayon. And it doesn't, doesn't look quite the same color as the lid. See, here, here's the lid. They don't look like the same color. But it's a very rosy color. It probably won't look good if I put it over the purple, so I'm not even going to try it. But so I got that's a, this is a great bag this month. So I got the Tristique uh, lip crayon. I have the Smashbox mascara sample. I have the Nano Awesome highlighter. I, I love how nicely it goes on well, as far as my hand. And then I rubbed it and it does not come off. Love that. And then Cool Way um, Stronghold Spray. I don't know why they put a guy and a girl on the cover packaging I guess it's kind of weird but um, hairspray you know everything I got in my hand is everything that I need to be at the gym this is like a get ready bag I and then the nail polish too and the nail polish which what did I do with it oh and the nail polish so this is awesome this month I mean I could basically just take this bag and go because my, my lips are covered my eyeliner mascara covered my hairspray covered and my nails covered perfect bag this month so this was the ipsy for november and i didn't show the last two months ipsy just because um you know i wanted to start using it right away and uh and you know i kept on forgetting to pile it back to get into the bag and take it out to the car because i wasn't videotaping much at home um so i do have i'm gonna leave this in the car so to, on today's agenda, I already went to the gym and worked out, um, lifted weights today, and I've got tennis elbow. So my elbow is like killing me, and it's because of my dog. Um, you know, I thought maybe I tore some tendons, but I talked to a guy at church who, you know, looked at my elbow, you know, and I he kind of pinpointed where the pain was and everything, and he believes that it's just tennis elbow and that, so I bought a little guard for it, a, a strap that goes on it for when I'm at the gym. But, so I did lift weights today and I did the treadmill today. And tomorrow I have bar Pilates class. So I'm excited about that. And then Wednesday, I think I'm working at um, Cherokee Rose for a couple hours, or helping out for a couple hours, because they've gotten a bunch of inventory in, which means I get to go shopping. <laughs> And as far as my outfit for today, um, I ended up combining the two necklaces. Uh, if you remember, these necklaces came from uh, Dress Up Boutique. So I, I just decided to put the gold with the silver because I get my wedding ring, which is gold. And I got my other ring on, which is silver. Too bad my nails look like crap. Um, so I decided to com combine the two necklaces. And... Um, I'm really loving Dress Up Boutique. I'm a little ticked off about something I got at Altered State. I got a burnout tee, oh, maybe four or five months ago, and I had never worn it. Uh, I still had the tags on it. So I decided, well, geez, I haven't worn this. It still has a tag on. Let's cut the tags off, let's wear it. It's a, It was a long, and it's in that coral color that I always go to. It was on the clearance rack, so there's no returns. So I couldn't do anything about it. So I end up wearing it, and it's a burnout. So I'm sitting there thinking, well, this has been washed many times. That's how they get the burnout uh, texture. And I wore it underneath one of my crocheted vests, the um, or whatever, crocheted vest. And then I had, underneath of it, I had, um, because it's a burnout, I had a white cami underneath it. Well, that thing bled the color. That coral color came off on my cami underneath the armpits. It came underneath the cami and just stained the cami that color, my camisole. And then my ivory crocheted vest, I had to wash it four times and had to put oxy on the armpits. That pink or coral color that I'm always drawn to, that color came off on my vest. I have never had, ever had a problem washing stuff from Altered State. And that one item pissed me off. It The, the color actually um, are, was a powder residue. When I put it through the dryer, my dryer lint vent is, is full of it as a powder and then when I brought it out and went to clean my dryer vent um, some of the powder got on my washer and with the liquid or with the water um, it actually left stains on my washer I am so upset about that one item I have never had a faulty item or bad item from altered state and this was just awful it's everywhere I'm still taking the dryer vent out of the dryer and still getting that residue from that shirt 
it's um, I, it looks like the burnout it looks like the color is a powder in the fabric and it, it just won't stop coming out and so I'm, I'm gonna have to throw the shirt away and I thought about keeping it and using it as a pattern because I really like the style of shirt I think I'm gonna keep keep it um, to use as a pattern so as soon as we get the damn house done and I can start sewing again I'm going to trace it and try to remake that shirt because I really do like the shirt but I don't know if it'll last long enough to make a pattern out of it I, I've never ever had you know such a lemon a lemon from altered state because you know I love that store never had anything wash up bad except for this one item I don't know what went wrong but it went really really wrong so oh and uh, and I, I made an appointment with Home Depot to have them to help design my kitchen because I found a kitchen that I like. I went through some catalogs. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, because the, the white, you know, I told you I want to do white. Well, I like the, um, hopefully you can see this. I like the silver, or the stainless steel farmer sink. I like how the island steps down a little bit so that I don't have to use bar stools. I can get really nice, cute chairs from like home goods. Um, to bring in some color, a pop of color. And the, the island is the green and the gray. And then I love the pendant lights. I don't know if you can see the pendant lights, see those pendant lights? I love the pendant lights. Um, I like the cooktop, because we're gonna do a drop-in cooktop with the double ovens off someplace else. So, what do you guys think? The white, I, hope, I don't know how well you can see this, but. I really I just really like it I like the, the nice light toned walls it's kind of like a uh, seafoam green maybe or a cross between that and like a very country blue like a French uh, French cottage blue I don't know but of course we're doing the dark floors instead of the light floors so I fell in love with that kitchen so I think that's what our kitchen's gonna look like I love the farmer sink the stainless steel farmer sink so I found this and the island is both green and gray and I know a lot of you suggested the gray and the brand of this cabinet I don't know if we'll go with this brand but I want this look um, this brand is craft made so I got to do a little research on them to see um, and the color is dove white and the island is gray loft and several of you suggested gray and so I'm kind of excited about that and then also several of you have really sent, been sending me games to, uh, ideas for games to play on um, my phone. And I am having a blast with several of them. And right now I'm addicted to, oh, I can't get to my phone because it's underneath my, <laughs> my camera. Um, I'm really addicted to that farm game that one of you guys sent me. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with that. So, well, this is just what I'm doing today. I'll be picking up Bella tonight. They are, um, finishing up the forms today and I'm hoping we're gonna have a foundation before Thanksgiving and once we have a foundation I think everything is gonna then happen quickly um, but uh, I'm just this house has been the slowest thing ever but okay so this is you know I'm just a quick quick vlog from the car as I'm heading into Starbucks and uh, check in with you and then uh, maybe I'll check check in with you again when I go pick up Bella and uh, I have to try out I got that coffee press from that company but they didn't send any coffee with it the whole idea is you know judging the coffee press um, is if you use crappy coffee any coffee any coffee press is gonna suck if you use good coffee there's a good chance the coffee press is gonna work well so you would think they would have sent a coffee sample with it so that they know that I'm using a good quality coffee in it um, to judge the coffee press well, and I, I use a Keurig at, a Keurig at home, I, so I use K-Cups. I don't have coffee at home other than K-Cups, and so I gotta go buy coffee to try this coffee press, and I gotta read, find, the instructions aren't very well on it either, so I'm gonna get on the internet and see how to use a coffee press because I've never done one before, and then as soon as I figure out how to use it, I'll videotape it so you guys can see. It is actually, it, it is pretty, it is pretty, but I'll videotape it so you guys can see how it works and um, if I like it. But basically, I'm judging the coffee I put into it. I really wish if they sold coffee, maybe they only sell coffee presses. Maybe they don't sell coffee. Maybe that's why. I don't know. So, okay. Well, until I check in with you next time, talk to you later. 
and I didn't realize it didn't hit record. Okay, I got sidetracked when I was talking about my necklaces and then I got upset about Altered State. I forgot to share with you my outfit of the day. I have a denim jacket on from Cherokee Rose that I bought a couple months ago. I keep talking about it, never showed it, and I think I paid like $15 for this. But it's a, it's a Levi's and it fit perfect. And I have either distressed, dip dyed, or bleached all of my denim jackets, or they're too small because I've gained the weight. So I was happy to find this one. This shirt is actually from Old Navy. Got this um, two years ago, I think, about two years ago. That, the necklace is already talked about. The jeans I'm wearing are from the Target Boyfriend Jeans, along with my little white uh, Converse, generic Converse from Target as well. So this is my outfit of today. Okay, well this is the first outfit of the week. Hi, just checking in. Nothing exciting going on. I had time to stall again. I'm always stalling for time. It seems like um, it, we were supposed to get a really bad storm and I'm hoping my son's gonna get out of class on time so I can get all the way back into town and be able to pick my other son up and get the dog from daycare before it really hits. Um, we're supposed to get like high winds. We're in a wind advisory and up to two inches just tonight. Um, and we've already had rain almost every day this month except for like just a few days. So. I decided to stop off at Cherokee Rose while I was waiting. As you can probably hear the, the rain hitting the windshield. But, um, so I decided to stop off at Cherokee Rose on my way back to the school. Of course, as a Starbucks the rest of the time. And I was watching QVC last night. I've got hair that, sorry, but it's like stuck to my lip gloss or something. Every time I talk, I keep on feeling it. Um, but I was watching QVC last night, <laughs> just randomly going through channels, and QVC, um, this cute tank top was on there, and, and a bunch of layered looking tops, and I recognized the brand. It was the brand logo, uh, logo layers. And I recognized it because there was a tank top that came into uh, Cherokee Rose, and I loved how long it was. And it has the long in the front, long in the back, shorter in the sides, just like I said I wanted with the white t the white t-shirt. But one came in and I remembered the day it came in, but it was a medium and I didn't need another tank, so I didn't think anything of it. But after seeing it on QVC and seeing how it hangs and them talk about the fabric, I decided to run back and see if they had the tank top still there. Of course I tried it on. Now, it's pretty tight in my midsection, but th this is a layered piece. And what I wanted it for was, it's, it's a tank top and a nice little, you know, gray. Just a plain gray. But what I wanted it for is how long it is. Here's the shoulders. I mean, it is long. And it has the rounded bottoms. So I'm just gonna use this for layering. So I kinda want it tight anyway, cause it's gonna peek out from underneath. You know, it's got the scalloped round bottom. But it's gonna peek out underneath, like when I wear flannels, like I could actually wear it today because I'm gray. So if I wanna wear a flannel or a shirt that is uh, not quite long enough to wear with leggings, but I really wanna wear it with leggings and boots, then I can throw this on. And it, since it is, it's not tight in the legs, but it's just my midsection is my one of my one of my many problem points. And, um, but, so it'll work and it is, I saw it on QVC, I saw how bouncy the fabric was, and I'm a sucker for fabric. And so when I saw that, um, I just thought I'd go back to Cherokee, uh, Cherokee Rose and see if it came in. I'm trying to see what the material is. It is 95% rayon and 5% spandex, which is why it gives that such wonderful bounce. And it says machine wash cold, which is nice to know, because I think the one, uh, the one um, ombre olive green uh, tunic that I got, remember I said, it, I think I said it was 95% spandex, or 95% rayon and then part spandex. And it said dry clean only. And I said, I'm not gonna take the time to dry clean this. I should be able to hand wash it. I think it's the same fabric. And this says machine wash cold, so. And then last time, it's still sitting in my car. Last time I went to Cherokee Rose, um, oh, and that uh, tank top was $12.99, but my boots sold, my little, my not my little, my high heel black boots sold this weekend, so I had a credit. Um, so I just used my credit, so I didn't pay anything out of pocket. 
And then this is that Angora sweater I told you guys about. It is size is a it's a 1x so it's a little bit bigger than an XL it's a 1x but and it's from Jones New York signature collection but it ha has a collar kind of like a ribbed collar which I kind of liked and then it buttons down and the Angora is perfect condition and then it has the ribbed waistband so and it's a it's nice and big so what I'm picturing this I'm picture. oh my god, it's so soft. I love the feel of Angora. Um, what I'm picturing wearing with this is like the boyfriend distressed jeans that I got from Target. Uh, my little black vans that has the, um, you can see the silhouette or outline of Hello Kitty's face all over the vans. Um, those little black vans, um, this, and leaving it unbuttoned, and I have either, I can do a white or a pink uh, cami underneath so you can just see a little bit of color when I unbutton unbutton this it'll match my hair and it's raining so that's why my hair is completely flat today but I thought this would be cute and I'm trying to remember the price on this one was $14 but I knew it was on sale for something and then also you know one of my credits for volunteering um, I used to pay for it so I think I ended up paying like three bucks for it I can't remember but um, I can put the information down below if you really want to know. But, oh my God, it's so soft. But those are the two things I got um, at Cherokee Rose that I have not shared with you yet. Oh, and then <laughs> I was at Starbucks yesterday and I did videotape it, but I'm afraid to post it. I don't want to put it on here and then have someone recognize the guy <laughs> or have the guy turn psycho on me. But, um, uh, so I'm at Starbucks yesterday and uh, there is a guy there that is either drunk or high, I don't know which one, but it, um, it was definitely one or the other. And he was drinking a big giant uh, like pop from like QT, the gas stations, and he wasn't drinking Starbucks. And he's sitting in a chair, he can't stay awake. Well, it's not so much that he couldn't stay awake. If he, if he couldn't stay awake, I'd be thinking, oh wow, he's just really tired. You know, poor guy. No, he, he stood up and was swaying, bumping into tables, going to the bathroom uh, to get into the bathroom. He wasn't just going to the bathroom on the floor. He was going to the bathroom, but, and his eyes are like this. I mean, he could not keep his eyes open. And then I videotaped him uh, when I was sitting down because I was nervous, one, for everybody's safety and two, his safety. I mean, I didn't know, you know, what's he gonna walk out and get into a car? Um, is this guy someone his mental capacity and alcohol don't mix is he going to you know behave himself while he was there i don't know but i mean he literally could hardly walk to the bathroom he was stumbling all over he sat down and a cop was in line three people behind me and i was waiting for my drink and then the guy is standing like kind of kitty corner very close to me and so i looked at the cop and did one of the eye things like you know like look over there um are you aware of this guy's situation because one like i said i was worried about his safety not the cop safety but uh, of course i'm always worried about the cop safety but um i was worried about this guy not knowing you know has, is he you know tox intoxicated to the point of it being dangerous for, for his own health is he uh under the influence of drugs i mean i mean i was worried for this guy but i was also worried for all of us patrons at starbucks so i looked at the cop the cop kind of nodded like i understand what you're saying don't worry about it so i sit down and i you know start booting up my computer and um and then the guy goes and sits at the counter um and he talks to the cop the cop goes so how's your day going and he says a couple words to the cop the cop says a couple words back and then boom the cop leaves and i was like oh, you're leaving i mean i mean granted the guy hadn't really done anything but i mean i was worried about when this guy leaves the store even if he's walking he can hardly walk to the bathroom he's like stumbling to the bathroom what's he going to do when he walks out on this busy street that this starbucks is on i was worried so i decided i'm going to videotape this guy um and you know just so we have documentation as to how he was acting. Um, and so he goes and sits at the counter up at the, where the baristas are at with the little glass window. And so he sits at the counter and, oh my God, I have it on video. He starts picking his nose and he ate it. And I have it on video. <laughs> I shot my husband last night and I about barfed. But, so he's sitting there, he can't even sit up. He's got his face down by the table. He's rubbing his face. 
he's you know rubbing his hands together like this and he did, he's doing all these weird things but then he starts rubbing his face and he started picking his nose and I'm that's that was about the time I had to shut the camera off because <laughs> I didn't want to document any of that and and like I said I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm afraid you know what if what if his relatives watches this video you know I wouldn't want to do that to somebody I don't want to embarrass the poor man but it was quite an experience yesterday I've never had someone like that sitting at Starbucks I mean, all the patrons in Starbucks were, were kind of like watching, kind of like, what's he going to do? What's he going to do next? You know, or is he going to get sick? You know, and none of us knew. And Starbucks didn't do anything. And I don't know if they really could, even though he wasn't buying anything. He was drinking a QT uh, pop from a gas station. But who knows? That might not have been pop. He might have been bringing alcohol in there. I don't know. But this guy was stumbling all over the place. I had never experienced that in a Starbucks before. Um, and, and I was really kind of... Uh, shocked that the police officer didn't do more whether it be give him a ride someplace where he'd be safe uh, see if he needs medical attention uh, it was obvious it wasn't just like you know you, someone's been partying and they're like whooping it up being you know kind of kind of wild this guy did not have his I mean his faculties together I mean he uh, he didn't even know where he was at and he'd reach for a chair and then he'd sit down and, and who knows it might have been a medical issue it might not even been alcohol or drugs related at all maybe he's diabetic and and is having some type of um you know insulin issue uh it, it could have been a lot of things and it's just i was just dumbfounded how well the cop left didn't think anything of it and Starbucks, you know, they're all young kids that work there. They can't really do anything. And I wasn't going to do anything because I'm by myself. And this is a big guy. I, did, if, I mean, I didn't want to offend him, upset him, and provoke him in any way. Um, but it was just weird. What would you have done? I mean, I'm just curious because then I, I mean, because for me, I kept on sitting back saying that, you know, uh, it, should I have said anything to the cop? you know, about checking this guy out. Well, the thing is, is if I didn't, how guilty would I feel if I at least didn't bring it to someone's attention if something happened to this gentleman? So I was doing it for his good, but also doing it for our good as patrons as well. Um, you know, what would you guys have done? If you see someone um, behaving erratically in a public place, especially since everything that's going on with Paris and you know terrorism and all this kind of stuff you always worry about you know someone not being mentally quite right and doing something in a public facility so what would you do would you have um you know demanded that the police officer do something uh would you try to have helped the gentleman yourself um would you have just sat back and watched you know i i felt guilty last night because i was sitting there thinking you know, I don't, one, as a female by myself and with my son in the car, there's, you know, picking up my son, there's no way I'm gonna have a stranger of any sorts in my car with me when I have my children, just just for our safety. But I'm thinking, you know, how did he get home? He was by himself. How did he get home? If he couldn't find his way when he's bouncing off the tables just to get to the bathroom, how was he going to find his way home? How far away did he live? Who's driving him? I don't know. I just, I sat there last, it, 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 it's one of those things kind of like but after watching the, the kids being disrespectful in school, those videos, how it just consumed my whole night. This guy, um, this guy and just thinking about, you know, what I should have done or what didn't I do or what did I do and I mean, it consumed my night again. You know, I, I worried and then I was sitting there thinking, how did he get home and I don't know spending way too much time talking about this but I'm just curious what would you guys what, what would you guys do if you were sitting in a Starbucks you saw someone that was definitely not right something was off something was wrong whether it be dr drugs alcohol or a severe mental um, defect or uh, you know breakdown where he's just you know completely incoherent what would you do okay so that was that topic and now my son is at a seminar, so I have to go pick him up as soon as he's done. Like I said, I have to try to beat the storm home. And because yesterday we saw a really bad accident. Um, we've had a lot of bad accidents lately. I, you know, down here in the south, a lot of people don't know how to drive in the rain. They drive normal speed and, and they don't think about the fact that the roads can be slippery. 
Well, yesterday we were driving to school and um, a minivan cut in front, crossed a lane, and, and it, the lane wasn't clear to be crossing. And a utility truck hit them, rolled. <clears throat> when we came up on it, it was just after it happened. Cops were there. So it, we were there within minutes, but the ambulance and fire trucks and stuff hadn't been there yet. And this poor guy in the utility truck, um, he was on the floor of his truck. Airbag had gone off. The people were down on the ground reaching into him. And I, I, I mean, I, I pray that he was okay and that he was not injured, you know. Um, then the other van, I couldn't tell if anybody was injured or not. The van was upside down. I couldn't tell, you know, if the people had already gotten out or if the people were still stuck in there, but it was across the road and kind of heading down a hill. Uh, that van had rolled over and it was on its top. And, oh, I just hate seeing ac accidents like that because it, it just puts your stomach in knots. And so I prayed last night just, you know, hoping that they, they were all safe. But it looked like a, a horrific accident. It was terrible. And I found out another accident. People died uh, just down the street from where we were driving. And it was within a couple hours of when we had just passed that intersection. So, you know, uh, all of you, please drive safe when the weather's bad with all this rain and all this hectic weather we have. You know, I pray that you're all being safe and you get where you're going and no accidents, accidents free, accident free. But um, that's basically all that's going on today. Um, they went out to the house, the inspectors went out, they inspected the footings and it was approved. So now they can start pouring the foundation, but it's raining again so i don't know when they're getting us on the schedule for the poor um i believe we're gonna hopefully have it done before thanksgiving that is what we're hoping right now right now it's really hard to find skilled uh, uh cement guys and i don't know how what they call them um there's a special name for people who do cement and i can't remember what that name is um but uh not carpenter i can't remember the name for the cement people but it's really hard to find uh, qualified cement workers uh, right now with this building boom that we're having I mean they're all it's just hard to uh, get on their schedule so I'm hoping that we get on their schedule and it gets on a day that it's not raining and we can start pouring this damn basement <laughs> I so miss my sewing I want to sew um, but okay well I will check in with you later I have to go and see if he's out of his seminar yet so okay see you later